Hello everybody, this is Bergback coming to you with another StarCraft II commentary. And in today's matchup, we have Liquid TLO, the little one, spawning as the blue Terran. And he is spawning against his opponent, Duckload Raw, or as everybody knows him, White Raw. And this is on Metalopolis, and some nice little history of this. We are, uh, I am broadcasting this as a uh, add-on to the Intel Extreme Masters, which is being held right now in Cologne, Germany. And this is basically a, a match that happened today between TLO and White Raw, and there were a bunch of other uh, uh, gamers playing today, and this is just pretty much qualifiers and, and things like that happening today, just for to get into the quarterfinals and, and get up to the, the, the finals here. And uh, I'll be trying to showcase as much as I can this week of these games. Uh, of course, Duck, uh, White Raw and TLO being some of the favorites here. And uh, just figured, well, why don't I show them here now uh, really quick for everybody to see. And and we'll get a, get it going here. So we do have TLO starting down at the bottom and White Raw spawning at the top of the map. So, of course, the longest distance possible here for both of them. And it looks like uh, White Raw just bringing everything close to the base here, getting those choke points a little closed here on the mineral line, putting that gateway right there. And it looks like uh, White Raw getting in through TLO's base. Uh, getting up the ramp, Tilo looking like he was going to try and wall off a little bit, putting that Rax right at the top of the ramp there. And Tilo going around, trying to scout out as well for White, uh, White Raw. It's really confusing because he's called Duckload Raw, and I want to keep calling him that, but he's White Raw. And uh, I don't want to confuse all of you guys out there, too, with that. It looks like Tilo's starting to go up towards White Raw's base. Now, Cybernex, we're going in the back of the base here. Uh, we'll see if TLO gets to see that or not. And it looks like Marine's starting to push White Raw out of his uh, of TLO's base here. Again, very uh, very good map, and we all know that. Oh, TLO does see that Cybernex score coming down, and uh, we know you know this map is really good for a lot of different kinds of harassment. Of course, TLO has very good play styles on this map. Uh, always has some really ingenious methods of going against his opponent. So we might see something happen here. Uh, but of course, they are fighting for a lot of money. $5,000 in the top seed pot here. Uh, 2500 I think, for second place. So you can see the difference there between first and second. And there is a tech lab coming down here for... TLO, so we're probably going to see some yeah, Marauders coming down with a factory. Maybe some Hellions, maybe some tanks from there. Or might I even say Thors. Or we might just see him go with a classic 1-1-1 here. And Stalker's starting to go out a little bit here. White Raw getting a, uh, a pylon out here. One for sight. And uh, two, just so he can be able to spawn units down below or up top. It's a very versatile spot here, as he is going with that warp gate technology and a robo facility as well. Going pretty early there with that robo facility. And a second gateway going down as well. It looks like TLO is starting to push out a little bit, just with that Hellion and a couple Marines and a Marauder starting to come up north. We look inside Tilo's base. He is going with that starport, so we are going with that 1-1-1. One, one, one. That is very classic for a, uh, a Terran player. Another gateway, so we're going to see three gateways and a robo facility here for White Raw. It looks like White Raw just kind of scooting back here with the stalkers, just kind of pushing back, not trying to, to show his hand fully. And it looks like White Raw looking to expand down into this expansion. Putting down that pylon first. And a Hellion getting up onto the ramp. Oh, this could spell disaster if we can get to the mineral line. And it looks like he's just trying to get out, just scouting in with that Hellion. The Stalker's not doing much damage on there. Just 10 damage total right now. And uh, White Rock going with that expansion now, putting that Nexus down. And TLO not going for an expansion yet at all. Uh, 
not sure if he's just going for a heavy push here in the beginning. He does have another Raxman down, and this is very classic that we've seen from Tila. Oh, no, never mind. I thought he was going to use that as a scout, but looks like he's putting that down and getting ready to do something. Maybe it's, it looks like some kind of nice little wall off here. Reactor coming down, so we're going to see a lot of Hellions come down here unless he decides to switch up with another, uh, another part of his base. These Hellions up here starting to burn this Stalker down. Three Hellions versus one Stalker. This is not going to look good for White Raw here as he's going to be forcing the pullback. Good micro here from White Raw, though. Really getting that damage down on these units. And his one Stalker up here doing a little bit extra damage as well. And uh, spawning another Stalker at that, at that pylon. So we do see a nice sized force starting to come in here for White Raw at his expansion. Starting to, to get down here and defend this in case... TLO decides to come up and and harass. Next is finally being placed and uh, being fully spawned and warped in. We do have some Ravens in here. A very interesting play here by TLO. We see some Banshees coming in as well. Uh, on this map, it can be very good use. Uh, just getting in and around and harassing. But of course, we do see, well, we did see an Observer up here for White Raw. Looks like he might be sending it out somewhere else just to go scouting. And, uh, you know, those observers can be doing very well unless TLO... Well, TLO isn't really going for that that cloaking field for those Banshees. So it looks like he's just amassing them right now. He's already got uh, two on the field with, with two more on the way. So he's doing double uh, Banshee building here. And it looks like he's sending them out all the way up here to uh, close by on... White Raw's expansion, and of course the scan comes down on White Raw, uh, seeing all the units that White Raw has right now, and uh, doesn't look good <laughs> for uh, for White Raw. Right Raw uh, pulling back all of his units now, just kind of pull well half of his units, and it looks like we have some Hellions coming up here to harass, starting to go in on the ground units here, and uh, the Observer going out to start seeing what's up ahead, seeing all of this. Of course, that Raven seeing that. Uh, and gonna gonna push that observer back, and in comes White Raw into the fold here. Oh, if only he had these units up there, that he would be in a totally different situation now. There's four, that Guardian Shield coming up, of course, not not uh, looking good here right now, just for White Raw because he got all those units in here a little late. If he would have had those Stalkers and and uh, Mortals down here in the beginning. We wouldn't have seen all of his units get down there. We were probably seeing a different story here. And that one Zealot coming in here and, and getting toasted by those Banshees. Of course, these, uh, oh, look at this, putting more <laughs> on the fire. An auto turn down. Going to start taking out those probes as they pass by. Oh, and more Stalkers coming in for White Raw. Going to try and stop what he can. And another one coming up from the other side. Just spawning in multiples as he can. And if he'd have a couple more Stalkers, I think this would be a little bit better for White Raw, but it's not looking good right now because this Nexus is going to be going down to the might of TLO's army here. And that turret just going to town on anything that's coming by, pushing White Raw back even more. Another Immortal coming out. And uh, if he'd be able to take out these Banshees, he'd be in a better place. And going to place a Nexus down with all this out here, I don't think that's the best move there for White Raw. That's going to be a waste of 400 minerals right there. Oh, and just separating these stalkers. Oh, not good. And nothing really getting killed here for TLO as he's controlling this whole area, uh, this whole ramp, and nothing spawning in really. And the GG from White Raw uh, as that's game one. Of course, this is a best of three between uh, TLO and White, White Raw. So we'll see if uh, White Raw can come back on game two to... Uh, to make it a three-game series here. So we'll uh, make sure to leave some comments down below. Uh, let me know what you think so far of the of the Intel Extreme Masters Tournament, if you've been watching it on ESL or not. And uh, just make sure, if you like this game, to please subscribe, and we'll talk to you for game number two.